Imagine a world without bananas. It's a real possibility. A fungal disease is attacking and killing banana trees, and as yet we haven't found a cure. Both humans and plants can catch infectious diseases. If the plant in question is a food crop, then plant disease can affect humans too, either through famine or loss of livelihood. In the 19th century, over 1 million people in Ireland died in a famine caused by a fungal disease called blight that affected potato plants. The disease destroyed whole fields of potatoes. Most people at the time relied on potatoes as their main food source. It left people with nothing to eat. Even though many species of fungi are harmless and some are even useful to us, others are pathogens, which means they cause disease. In this video, we're going to look at three examples of fungal diseases. Rose black spot, cholera ash dieback, and athlete's foot. Fungal diseases infect an organism and produce toxins which harm it. They affect plants and humans. Let's start with a plant fungal disease. In rose black spot, the fungi infects the leaves of the rose bulb, causing large black spots on the upper leaf surface. This reduces the ability of the infected leaves to carry out photosynthesis, and the infected leaves falls from the plant. The rose plant does not grow as well and may die. The fungi spends the winter in a dormant state on the leaves that have fallen on the ground, and also in young stems and buds. In spring, the fungi reproduces sexually, producing spores which can be carried in the wind to affect other plants. Rose black spot can be treated by spraying the leaves with fungicides, special chemicals that kill fungi. It can be prevented by collecting and destroying leaves that have fallen off an infected plant. Cholera ash dieback is a fungal disease that affects ash trees. It causes leaf loss, marks on the bark and dead shoots and branches. Once a tree is infected, the disease usually kills it either directly or indirectly by weakening the tree so it is more susceptible to infections by other pests or pathogens. It is spread by fungal spores traveling in the wind or the movement of diseased plants. In fact, the first case in the UK was in 2012 from infected trees sent from Netherlands. To stop its spread, infected trees are cut down and burned. Some ash trees appear to be resistant to infection and scientists are studying the genes which make this possible. It is hoped that in the future, resistant trees can be bred. Finally, that itchy rash between your toes. Athlete's foot is a relatively common infection of the feet. It is an itchy rash caused by a fungus growing and multiplying on the skin. It usually appears between the toes where it is warm, dark and moist, a fungi's favorite place to live. Athlete's foot is not usually serious, but should be treated to stop it spreading to other parts of the body or to other people. It is treated by using creams or spray that you can buy over the counter at the chemist. These contain fungicides that kill the fungi. Athlete's foot can easily spread to other people by touching the infected skin or coming into contact with contaminated surfaces or objects. Swimming pool changing rooms are a prime location. So, in this video, we have looked at how fungi can cause disease such as roseback spot, cholera ash dieback, and athlete's foot. We have discussed symptoms of these diseases, how they are treated, and how the spread of the disease can be prevented. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.